Friends, hello everyone. Narrator is here. We continue to engage in film retellings and today we have the film Rain Man, the story of how one brother took advantage of another autistic brother and together they surrounded all the casinos because he could count cards correctly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put likes and we start. Enjoy watching. The film begins with the unloading of expensive sports cars at the port. Charlie Babbitt is a luxury car dealer, but from a telephone conversation, it is clear that things are not going well for him. He borrowed a large sum of money to buy cars and had trouble selling them. As a result, he must pay a large amount in the shortest possible time. Then we are shown how he and his girlfriend are driving a car and his father's lawyer dialed his phone and says that he died. But it doesn't make Charlie feel any emotion. The fact is that his mother died when he was two years old, and he did not get along with his father. That's why communication between them was so cold but he still goes to the funeral. After the farewell ceremony, he and his girlfriend go to his childhood home, and there he tells how his father was cold to him. When, after graduation, he brought home a report card with good grades, his father did not even allow him to ride with friends in his car, because, as Charlie himself believed, he loved the car more than his own son. He tells how his imaginary friend, Rain Man, came to him as a child and sang songs to him. But that's where the stories about his childhood end. In the evening, he goes to the same lawyer and finds out that his father bequeathed him this car and varieties of roses, and property worth more than $3 million goes to a person whose name cannot be named under the contract. Charlie is outraged by this, because the money would really do him good right now. With heavy intricacies, he learns that the heir is now in a hospital for the mentally ill, and he and his girlfriend are heading there. There he finds this man and it turns out that this is his brother, whom he did not even know about. His name is Raymond and he has autism. Disorder of perception of the surrounding world. Any action that would not cause anxiety in a healthy person, the disease makes itself felt in him. He does not understand the meaning of money and this fact makes Charlie laugh even more. Raymond was admitted to the hospital when Charlie was only three years old. Therefore, he did not even remember him from childhood. He picks him up from the hospital under the pretense of showing him Los Angeles, and along the way they stop at a hotel where they stay overnight. Raymond develops an illness and refuses to sleep in that room because the bed is not by the window. Charlie quickly corrects this, because he already has some idea of his disease. But another question arises, Raymond needs books in the room and Charlie does not find anything better than a reference book. That night, he reads it under a flashlight and hears strange noises from the room. When he went there, he saw that Charlie was having sex with his girlfriend, but he did not understand what it was and was more worried about the broadcast on TV. His girlfriend Susanna finds out why Charlie took his brother to Los Angeles and leaves him. The next morning, the two brothers have breakfast and Raymond recognizes the waitress by her name from the directory and gives all the information about her, including the address. This is another manifestation of his illness, namely, an excellent memory for numbers and dates. After ordering, namely pancakes, Raymond starts yelling that the maple syrup should be on the table at the very beginning, before the main dish is served. Charlie tries to calm him down and puts a little pressure on the back of his neck with his hand, and he writes down the time of impact in a notebook. This is another manifestation of the disease. He always writes down, where, when, and at what time he hit or was hit, not even hard. After breakfast, they go by car to the airport and right at the landing, Ray has a tantrum. He starts yelling that he won't get on the plane because this airline's flights have already crashed. Names the date and number of victims of each. As a result, they have to get to Los Angeles by car. In the evening, Ray refuses to drive on one of the highways because he found it too dangerous. And in the end, he walks all the way until he reaches the next highway. Charlie has nowhere to go and he slowly follows him. They stay at a motel for the night and Raymond refuses to leave the next morning because it's raining, and they have to spend another day at this motel. The next day, when the rain stops, they drive down the highway and Ray has another seizure because Charlie gave him the wrong underpants. He can no longer stand it and stops the car, where he begins to freak out. When they get to the nearest town, Charlie drags him to the clinic for some advice. But in the end they find out that Raymond is doing great with mathematics. It adds and multiplies four digit numbers. But Corny does not know how much a chocolate bar or a car costs. All this is due to a perceptual disorder. Then they continued on their way to Los Angeles but Ray had a panic because he would not be able to watch The People's Court on TV and Charlie takes him to a nearby house and asks the hostess to let them in. She allows them to come in for a while and after they settle in a hostel, where Raymond blurts out that he is a man of rain, and it was he who sang songs to little Charlie. In the morning they have breakfast and Charlie is amazed at his memory and understands that Raymond needs to go to Las Vegas and use his memory to count cards. What they do. In the casino he counts cards and they win a lot. That evening, Ray is asked out by a girl and Charlie gives a couple of lessons on how to behave with them and teaches them how to dance. At the same time, Charlie's girlfriend Suzanne arrived and together they accompany him on a date. But on the way, Charlie is stopped by security and says that he is aware of their card count in the deck. 
to which they advise him to leave the state. Unfortunately, no one comes on a date and in the elevator, Charlie's girlfriend teaches his brother how to kiss, because this is the first time for him. They pack up and on the way home Ray is allowed to steer the car, just like he wanted. They drive to Los Angeles and the lawyer offers him $250,000. They sit in the meeting room and think about where Ray will be better and decide to send him back to the clinic, where he was. Charlie promises Ray that he will visit him and he gets into the train car and leaves. That's the whole retelling of the film Rain Man, the story of how a young businessman had an autistic brother and he understood his ability to count cards in time and took advantage of it. If you like this retelling, then don't forget to click on the subscribe button, and don't forget to like and watch other retellings on this channel.